Hey people, what's going on? It's Jamil, and I want to speak a little bit on Muskegon County corruption and the things that have happened to me in Muskegon County. And one of the first things people notice about me, if they Google my name, Jamil Rawls, is that there's an article that comes up in the Muskegon M Live Chronicle, uh, written by the uh, author Lynn Moore, and it's it's a derogatory article, and it's speaking about gang stalker or gang stalking paranoia okay so the first thing i want people to realize is that when you hear gang all that means is a group of people a group of people stalking people and that's what's been happening to me in muskegon county is when i go into a restaurant like people show up at the restaurant and tell the manager or submit some sort of information to the manager or whoever's running the restaurant at the time telling them that there's certain protocols they have to take with me they have to watch me they have to do certain things to me and I'm nothing but a customer I'm like everybody else I'm a customer and this is a violation of my civil rights and this has been happening to me since it's way back Going back to the summer of 2015, um, it, it could have been happening before that. I've been doing, you know, all, all I am is independent research. I do interviews on multiple different subjects. And I got into a scenario where I was being followed around in my neighborhood by people. And then I noticed that every, sh every store I went to, every bar I went to, every shop I went to, like people would show up there and tell the people to do certain things to me activities towards me and the same things they were doing to me at the restaurants at, and these places I go to is the same thing that happened in the neighbor, neighborhood I live at and it's illegal these people don't have any authority to be telling anybody to do anything to me and one of the first things they tell people uh, there's like three different reasons why they were telling people to, to keep an eye on me and, and follow me and wear certain colors and all this crazy nonsense one of the first things they told somebody is they were saying, oh, you know, Jamil gets, uh, Jamil gets um, uh, SSI checks. You're supposed to watch Jamil to make sure that he's not doing anything work-related or educational. You just got to keep an eye on him. That's one of the things that somebody has told me that they were being told about me. And I, say, and I said, you know what? Why would anybody do that to me? And they tell the people to, to follow me with their lights on in broad daylight to wear certain colors. And that's the same thing that happens to me at the restaurants. And the same thing that happens to me in the neighborhood that I live at. I was framed by people who were doing this to me while it was happening. They framed me. And there, there was another scenario where they were telling... Uh, I went over to a family member's house. And they paid some people to go into the house... And tell a family member of mine that I, 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 I raped some woman back in like 1995 or something like that. And everybody had to keep an eye on me and watch me, which is nonsense. I never raped any woman. I don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. And I was 10 years old in 1995. And they showed up at this house and told these people that. <clears throat> and the woman um, that ran the house, she got mad at the people who said that to her and ended up smashing a bunch of plates. And it, it was a real fucked up, it was a horrible experience to, to sit there and hear that somebody got paid to follow me over somebody's house and tell them that. And, you know, there's all sorts of pedophiles, dope dealers, and corrupt and, and poli corrupt police, all sorts of people walking the streets in Muskegon, and nobody's following them. Nobody's worried about where they're going, and they're the people who get paid to do this to me. So... So, so if I go into a, a bar and I want a beer or I want something to eat or I want to go into a store and buy a product or ask questions about a product, nobody should be communicating to that store to do anything to me that the, that's not natural to the store's protocol. You know, that's, a, that's infringement on my civil rights. That's stalking. That's somebody monitoring me and following me to different places that's stalking me 
okay? That's why it's called gang stalking. And so, you know, I the uh the the tripped out the tripped out part the tripped out part is that people sit there and they hear this and they don't they don't get what's going on. I'm saying I'm being gang stalked around Muskegon County and people are hearing what I'm saying and the same and they're hearing what I'm saying but they're amongst the same people who are participating in it through disinformation campaigns through group watch networks and they might they get alerts sent to their phone to follow me places and stuff and I don't even know the people like in the neighborhood I live at there's certain people involved in stalking me and I don't even know the people like the people said they don't know me they have no business speaking about me to anybody telling anybody to do anything to me and you know when I go into a store and somebody comes in there and says something about me and tells somebody to do something to me I want to know about it I want to know who the person is and what they're telling these people about me you know because if, if, if there's somebody speaking about me to somebody else telling them to do something to me I need to know about it I need to know who the people are and what they're being told to do and why they're being told to do it you know and this is something that's going viral to all the stores in Muskegon. 